I initially was thinking to myself, oh, it's probably not going to be that impactful because if you look at what Tom Brady has done over time with wide receivers, Gronk is the only Hall of Famer I think he's thrown to for multiple years that started his career with New England. Obviously, he had Randy Moss for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. But I actually think this Patriot offense desperately needs Josh Gordon, and the numbers reflect it, and Brady is substantially worse with and without Josh Gordon. I know everybody wants to talk about this, so I'll go ahead and throw it up on the screen there for everybody to see. I mean, that's pretty substantial difference. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe you can argue that uh, that this is just coincidence, but to me, the big play star there is, is, is maybe the most important. The Patriots have a lot of possession receivers who lack explosiveness. I think this is a big hit to the Patriots down the stretch. It actually makes me even more confident in my bet that I've placed on the Bills, who have already a really good defense, and now they have much less to have to cover all over the field. You look at this Buffalo Bill defense, they are, I think, one of the most under-discussed and undercovered great defenses in the NFL so far this year, and I think they're going to have a good shot to keep it close against the Patriots. I think 12 and a half is too many. I know Sal and I disagree on that, but I think this certainly plays into the sense. idea that this is not going to be a total beatdown delivered by the Patriots against uh, the, the uh, Bills. 